what organelles do plant cells have that animal cells do not have? Will the milk with my coffee mix on its own or do I need to actually stir it? Should I use non-biological washing tablets instead of biological ones in a 100 degree boil wash? Hello, my name is Rob Baker and I am the course team leader for Applied Science at Long Road Sixth Form College. The video clips you've just seen are the type of questions that uh, you will cover on the Applied Science course. Uh, my job now is to go through some of the uh, information of the course. Hopefully it will answer your questions and we would love to see you in September. Okay. So level three Applied Science, what is it all about? Well, we are a vocational course, meaning that you will use your knowledge and apply it to uh, context. So it is a very practical orientated subject. There will be theory, but you put the theory into practice. Um, ideally, it's for students that perhaps don't want to specialise by doing chemistry A-level or biology A-level. Um, you want to do science, you might want to go on and have some scientific career or a career that's going to use science. Uh, in terms of the course options that we offer, there is a extended certificate, which is a one A-level equivalent course. So you will need to combine this with potentially two other subjects or one other applied diploma, which is a two A-level equivalent or you can choose the extended diploma, which is a three A-level equivalent course. Um, students that take these courses go on to a range of destinations, and I will talk to you about those uh, a bit later, but uh, people are wanting to go into forensic science, work in the medical industry, work in laboratories of technicians, or perhaps uh, engineers might want to take applied science as one of their options. In terms of the minimum entry requirements, you will need to make sure that you have five grade fours or above in um, your GCSEs. Okay, so five of your subjects must be grade four or above. That must include English, which must be a grade four, and you will need a grade five in maths due to the um, challenges that some of the maths uh, elements within the units present. Also, you will need two fives in your science, so that could be two fives on your combined GCSE course, or two fives from two of your three triple science subjects. Okay, so applied science is something new for you. It, like I said, it is a very practical based subject. There's lots of research uh, which will encourage lots of independent working. You will work in groups, which gets you to uh, practice team working. You'll be presented with numbers of problems that you have to solve, there'll be quizzes, there'll be lots of discussions and presentation opportunities. So it's a well-rounded course that will give you a competitive edge if you're going off to higher education or perhaps thinking of doing an apprenticeship. Okay, so what skills will it give you for going off to university? You will learn to work independently. The nature of the applied science course uh, is that you will be taught, and then you get to independently work on your assessments. Okay, and I'll talk to you about assessments a bit later. So this will really make you very, very independent learners. Okay, and you will create systems that will enable you to work independently. You will also be able to research actively and methodically. So that's looking through your resources and being critical in the type of information that you read and process. Okay, you'll be able to give presentations to the group. Okay, and you'll also contribute within your groups, um, whether it be in, in leadership roles, or facilitating roles, okay, so you get plenty of practice of doing that. You will read lots of scientific and technical texts. So there is a course textbook. You will also uh, be reading lots of scientific material on the internet. 
you'll become effective writers. One of the things that you have to do on the course is write reports. Uh, we will show you how to write reports and give you plenty of guidance on that, but you'll learn to become very, very good communicators. You'll also become quite analytical and able to evaluate many of the things that you do and you will gain some new practical skills and you will enhance some of your existing practical skills. Okay, and it will make you degree ready. Many universities follow similar assessment methods to those used on an applied course. Okay, what if university is not going to be your thing? Okay, you need to think about going into the wide world and finding yourself a job. Again, VTech will enable you to pick up a number of core skills. One will be your ability to cr uh, critically think, so thinking outside the box and come up with solutions. Okay, you'll gain lots of intrapersonal skills, so how to communicate effectively with members of teams, with professional people. Uh, you'll be able to work collaboratively. Uh, you'll also work independently as well. Okay, and this will also enable you to gain interpersonal skills, so self-management, resilience, organisation, and the ability to actually uh, self-monitor and develop your own work. Okay, so a little bit about the course. So the extended certificate, they, these are the actual units that you will uh, encounter over a two-year period. So within the first year, you will do unit one and unit two. In the second year, you will cover unit three and unit eight. Uh, the, so the principles and applications of science one is a unit that will look at um, the electronic structure of atoms. It will look at bonding of elements and it will look at chemical calculations. Unit two um, is a chemistry based unit where you will carry out a number of practical skills. So you'll calibrate a number of pieces of equipment. You will prepare and standardize solutions. You will carry out uh, titrations involving acid and bases. You will um, do chromatography on plants and amino acids. Uh, you will carry out a technique called calorimetry. Okay? And you'll do a brand new technique called colorimetry. The second year begins with science investigation skills. So this is where you will plan investigations. You will come up with your own hypotheses equipment lists, variables that you are going to change and control, and you will consider the accuracy and precision of the equipment that you use. You will also collect data, so you will learn how to produce tables in the right format. You will carry out standard deviation, also carry out uh, line graphs and correlations, and then you will draw conclusions. Now, this unit looks at a number of or practical. So you will cover practicals in enzymes, diffusion, uh, sampling of ecology, uh, you look at enthalpy, circuits. Okay, so the investigations have a bit of a theme. And the last unit, which is an internally assessed unit because it's white, okay, this is optional. So this is a unit that we feel as though um, balances out the course a little bit because it's biology based. It also helps students going on to perhaps do sports science or physiotherapy or perhaps nursing. So it's a good core biology unit. Um, the extended diploma is considerably bigger because it obviously is a three A level equivalent. Okay, it's well resume where the other course uh, doesn't cover. So unit number four is all about health and safety within a laboratory. It's also looking at how information is stored within a laboratory and you will also learn a number of practical techniques to make an organic liquid and an organic solid. Okay, Unit 5 is another uh, external exam. So this covers a number of uh, chemistry extraction processes, organic chemistry, Enthalpy. 
Unit six is a really good one. You get to choose a investigation of your choice from chemistry, physics or biology. This links heavily to the skills that you learn in unit three. OK, um, the final mandatory unit within the extended diploma course is unit seven, which again is another examination. This is all about contemporary scientific issues, so hot science issues around the world that can have significant impacts on a number of factors, whether it be social, uh, economic, environmental or ethical. We'll also do another uh, solid biology unit in biological molecules and metabolic pathways. Unit 11 uh, is for people interested in genetic engineering. So you'll be looking at DNA and chromosomes. You will actually extract some DNA within this unit. You'll also look at cell division under microscopes and learn all about inheritance. Unit 19 is a practical chemical analysis topic. This is where you will basically try to work out what's in a series of mixtures by carrying out uh, quantitative uh, and qualitative chemical reactions. And that gets wrapped up with gas chromatography and high performance liquid chromatography. 18 is uh, industrial chemical reactions. So this will look at thermodynamics from a chemistry point of view. It looks at rates of reactions, equilibrium with a particular focus on the harbour process. The last unit to be covered is medical physics. This is really good, particularly if you want to have a career working in a hospital as a radiographer. This unit looks at um, ionising and non-ionising radiation techniques and the health and safety behind them. I'll talk to you about assignment briefs. Now assignment briefs are the internally assessed units. These will be completely new to many of you. Okay, so you'll be given essentially a task. This is a bit like an exam paper. Okay, so you, you get to see the paper, you read the paper, um, and you have to provide evidence which satisfies criteria. So if you look down on the bottom right hand corner, there's a series of criteria. You've got codes, that's uh, A.P1 and A.P2. These would be considered pass tasks. Then you have the merit task, A.M1, followed by the distinction task, A.D1. In order to achieve the distinction, you must be awarded the merit and the two past tasks. Every single um, internally assessed unit will have a, a number of these assignment briefs. Okay, so you will be taught there is teaching right at the start of each of these topics, and then you are independently expected to carry out these tasks and produce work that's uh, all of your own work. Now, in terms of the grades, so from last year, the extended certificate students, um, a number of high grades uh, were achieved. 60% of the students came away with a merit. Um, the top grades were achieved by 19%, so a distinction star and a distinction grade. Uh, you'll notice that we get a 100% pass rate on this course at Long Road. Okay, the extended diploma course, again, looking at the higher grades, we've got around 60% of students achieving greater than an MMM, so merit, merit, merit. Again, 100% pass rate on the course. So that is enough MMM to get students off the university onto um, scientific courses. So where do our students tend to go? So here's a quick little snapshot of where the students this year are hopefully going off to in September stroke October. So you can see there's a big range of courses. The jobs at the bottom are the apprenticeships that some of the students are going off to undertake also in September. Some of these will actually have some uh, degree qualifications attached to them. So the students will carry on working uh, and studying at the same time. So that might be something you might want to consider. So the extended diploma course is obviously a 3A level equivalent, so you don't get to choose any other subjects. But if you would like to do the extended certificate, then you need to think about what other subjects might go well with applied science. 
Okay, you might want to combine it with maths or design and technology, particularly if you're going to go off to do some form of engineering related course at university. Okay, you could combine it with psychology or BTEC sport. Again, that would be to progress to sports psychology or sports science courses. You might want to combine it with health and social care to progress to nursing or working on, in care homes. Okay, another common option is combining it with geography. Again, that will enable you to go off to do geography or, or environmental science courses. I've given you a little snapshot of the course. Uh, if there are any other questions, uh, feel free to email me. My email address is rbaker at uh, longroad.ac.uk. Okay, thank you for watching and I will introduce my team next. Hello, my name is Rob Baker. I'm the course team leader for Applied Science. I studied Applied Chemistry at Portsmouth University and I teach on the Extended Certificate and the Extended Diploma programmes. Hi, I'm Rob Austin. I have a degree in Pathology and Microbiology from the University of Bristol and I teach both extended certificate and extended diploma. Hello, my name is Johanna Thompson. Uh, I, I teach uh, applied science uh, at Long Road and also health and social care. Um, I did my degrees at the University of Bristol uh, where I studied uh, zoology and psychology and I've got a master's uh, from Cardiff University in um, occupational psychology.